And with Veterans Affairs, we have Phil McCaskey. Pardon me, McCaskey. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Hey, good morning. Thank you. You have some great news. We have, uh, it is great news. It's um, probably the largest legislation in, the le in 30 years that's come from through for veterans. And it's, uh, the legislation's huge with the presumptives of the uh, burn pit registrations for the uh, Gulf War veterans. Okay. And they also threw a little bit of a caveat in there for the Agent Orange veterans, which are the Vietnam vets. Okay. They've added two new, new presumptive conditions to the existing nine that are already there. Hypertension being the largest. Okay. Hypertension's okay. probably gonna be the it's it is large because it's going to affect the the surviving spouses mm -hmm. of these veterans because if you look at most people and they pass away a lot of the presumpt or on the death certificate is hypertension as a related cause but yeah. well, that opens up the door for the dependent spouses oh. so they they can then receive benefits as a service connected death so so it, um, yeah so inter that brings up an an interesting question so um, survivors are you know, spouses of folks that have served. Correct. So there are new people, a lot of new people that are entitled to some benefits. Right, and then the VA's in on a directive now that they've introduced the legislation, now they're going back in and looking at claims that go back 20 years, 30 oh, wow. years oh. for um, spouses that had been denied because it wasn't part of the Agent Orange oh, Act, wow. and now it is. So if you've, if you've ever filed claims and been denied, for death as a surviving spouse or even as a veteran, yeah. you should be checking with your with us at the county oh, because okay. you know we just had a an award for a uh, surviving spouse of seven hundred forty two thousand dollars wow. and back benefits. Right yeah, is that absolutely. based on a new uh, PAC Act? It's based on a PAC Act. Wow. Yeah, wow. and we've had several. So if you know, it doesn't it doesn't really. It, it does change your life. I mean, yeah. when you put $700,000 or even yeah. $10,000, yeah. it's it's huge. And a lot of people don't know about it. It's mm -hmm. like typical, they make legislation yeah. change, but they don't yeah. advertise it very well. Yeah. I will give kudos to the VA. They've really, really went out and did this PAC Act. And we're actually hosting a seminar to enlighten the veterans of Jackson County. We have a PAC Act. Oh. And it's um, March 16th okay. at 11 a.m and to 1.30, they'll be, um, they'll be doing VA enrollments there, there'll be toxic screenings oh. there, there's also a suicide prevention coordinator will be there, and it's just basically getting the information out to our 10,000 veterans here in Jackson County about some of these, um, these new, new presumptives and everything, and it's really gonna be it's going to be a good time. Gary Easterling from the American Legion, the director, he puts on the class on it, and he, I've attended a few that they've done in other counties, and they've done a really good job. Plus, they're going to be doing toxic screening that day. Nice. So the toxic screening, they're going to, everyone should, mm -hmm. on the new direction, get a toxic screening okay. to see if you've been exposed. Even the Camp Lejeune Water Act Marines oh. are involved in this, too. So it's, yeah. it's huge. Come out. It's, we're going to have a... Um, a uh, food truck there, oh. basically a barista truck with coffee. Oh, fun. So a Vietnam veteran puts it on there, and they've come to the county a couple times, and it'll be fun, and we'll get a lot of information out to you. So 1715 Lansing Ave, where, 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 is that a specific building? We're in the health department. In the building. health department. Yeah, okay. we're up on the second floor. The uh, training will be downstairs in 005, which is the huge conference room there okay. at the county. And then up on our floor, on the second floor, we'll have it broke out into, you can come there and file a claim, yeah. you can talk to enrollment. There'll be a lot of things that you'll be able to do that day in in this uh, PACAC legislation. So this is exciting, and you said we have 10,000 veterans Yeah, right over 10,000 veterans here in Jackson. Jackson County. County is incredible. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are ready for oh. this onslaught because <laughs> our viewers are going to soak this up. I mean, they, our yeah. veterans do so right. much for right. protecting and defending our freedoms. Yep, that and it's it's we're ready. I mean, yeah. we're uh, we've got the American Legion coming in to have um, accredited service officers there with us, so they'll be able to handle some of that okay. overflow. And the VA is bringing a huge bunch of people. And, if nothing else, VA brings a lot of swag with them, so they gave a lot of giveaway <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So come out and, you know, if you've never been in your county office, you're missing, you're missing a huge part of what being a veteran is in Jackson County yeah. because we provide a lot of services that most people don't even really know about. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about that? But, I mean, the PAC deck is exciting, but yeah. aside PAC, from that. Yeah, I mean, we have, um, 
We do a lot of um, claim work there with the um, dependent spouses. We do a lot of compensation claims, VA healthcare enrollment. Mm. A lot of people don't even realize that they, they are eligible. This is gonna really expand the eligibility for healthcare enrollment. Okay. Because back in 2003, George Bush signed a law in the means test. That exempted a lot of veterans because they made too much money to use the VA. Oh. Mm. So now with this legislation, I mean, we're talking to 30, 30 plus years, a lot of these guys have been denied because they have a, you know, they make more than $45,000 a year combined. Okay. Yeah. Now they're, with this PAC Act, they're going to be able to get in and use the VA services. Talk to me specifically about some of the presumptive conditions that, um, you know, like some examples right. where, where folks could not get benefits right. before, but now they are. So basically on the, the burn pit registration, the presumptive lists, there's over 16 or over 20 cancers. So. Okay. You know, there's any throat cancer, any any reproductive organ cancers. I mean, th there's more presumptives for this burn pit registry than there ever was for Vietnam and oh, wow. the Agent Orange. Wow. Um, there's also That's a lot of respiratory disabilities okay. over there with the burn pits. I mean, this is just scratching the surface of yeah. what's going on. And the the weird thing about this, because it, to me it's weird, because always we've always in this business always boots on the ground in Vietnam. You had to have boots on the ground. Well, with this new PAC Act, even the airmen who fly over the Southeast Asia, they're, they're basically, it, the exposure to limits go infinity. Yeah. So if they fly through it, they're, they're eligible to okay. get this. So it's, it's big legislation and yeah. it's, uh, I mean, the bad thing it is, about it is most of these disabilities are life-threatening. Right. Yeah. So, you know, there's been a lot of people that have passed away from it, but it's, it's, it's big for all of them. Well, it doesn't make up for that loss of life no. or, or loss of quality no. of life, but it's something. Exactly. It's the, a lot of people, a lot of guys don't really care about the money as opposed or the compensation as is just the recognition yeah. that, hey, I was there. You told yeah. me I wasn't there or there was nothing there. And they lived it. They experienced yeah. it. And to be told no. So a lot of it's just being adjudicated yeah. that, hey, yeah. it's, it's there. And that's, that's the huge thing. Okay. Phil, thank you so much. Uh, so interesting yeah. and uh, a, lot of, a lot of great things coming, hopefully locally for oh, some of our veterans. Absolutely, so absolutely. We certainly appreciate it. It is the PACT Act information session, March 16th. And if you have any questions, just call the county. They will uh, point you in the right direction. Phil, thanks again so much for joining us. We appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely, thanks for having us. Phil McCaskey, Jackson County Veterans Affairs. More of the morning show right after